football, the next event, Super Featherweight Contest, six three-minute rounds, Sugar Gibbilaru, former British champion, against Peter Judson, who is a more than useful fighter. We've seen Peter two or three times on Pro Box, and uh, he's obligingly won each time. Sugar has also featured on Pro Box. We've seen him lose a Commonwealth title attempt against Mark Reefer. Mark knocked him out in five rounds in Oldham in uh, May 1990. And then we saw him against Paul Harvey, also for the Commonwealth title in December 91. And uh, Sugar also went down on points on that occasion over 12 rounds. But former British champion won that title in uh, April 91 with a ninth round stoppage win over Robert Dickey. But the super feather jinx struck after that and he lost in his first defence against John Doherty. And here is Peter Judson being led in by his manager, Nat Basso. much trouble. Depends how Gibilaru feels on the night. So Gibilaru in. Former British Super Colourweight Champion. Oh, he's in there somewhere. There he is. Blue baseball cap. Let's hear from Alan. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a super featherweight contest over six three-minute rounds. Introducing in the blue corner with those yellow shorts, sponsored by Benmore Thomas Jones, with 16 wins, four draws from 30 contests, two inside the distance. Will you welcome, please, from Keatley, Peter Jackson. Thank you once again, Alan. Keith Garner doing the honours for this contest. Difficult one to call this, Nicky. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a very close fight. Gibilaru, I, I can't pronounce his name, is uh, a very experienced man, much better than, better than his record suggests. Well, Gibilaru has got the record, got the experience. Judson, only 25, pale-skinned. He has got the ambition, and this would be, uh, those are the colours, and uh, this would be a real good notch on Judson's record if he can beat the former British Super Feather champ uh, champion, and he's, he's, uh, he's certainly well capable of doing it. He's determined. When G Gibilaru won the uh, Super featherweight title. It was when the featherweight title, super featherweight title, was going through 13 or 14 unsuccessful first that defenses. Was, that wasn't was, it? That was yeah. extraordinary. No, I think I think it was 13 or 14. No, no champion successfully defended. And 
Johnson. You can looking at looking into his face. He is really up for this. Very relaxed fighter, though, isn't he? Give it a little experience, taking it on the arms, working his way into the fight. Looks very strong. Good body punches from Judson. This is a good opening round. Certainly the stiffer punch-up of the two, if, uh, if record is anything to go by, we've seen him knock a couple over. J Judson has made absolutely the right start, giving Gibilaru no chance to settle yet. He's quite a clever boxer, actually. Nice uh, left hook following on from the left jab there. Villarou is using the jab more. That's what he needs to do. Well, Gavillaru has seen off one or two young pretenders in his time, and. It, it really, it really comes down to how, how he was feeling when he got into the ring. You can never be too sure with him. Well, Judson doesn't seem to be as effective going backwards. He uh, doesn't like it. Good opening round. That's, uh, that's going to be all we hope and a little bit more. One of Nat Basso's boys. Peter Judson. Now let's have a look at uh, some of his work from early in the round, Nicky. Yeah, Judson was well on top early in that round. Very determined. This uh, this was the first minute of the fight. That's a good combination of the left hook through. From the reverse angle. He's landing, getting through quite a few of these punches. Yeah, that, that actually is a great angle, that. That, that, that sort of <laughs> that almost puts you in the ring with Peter Judson. That's, uh, that's good stuff. Elvis on the other side of the ring, former British Superfella champion, Sugar Gibilaru. Our director said, name the 13 odd men who held the Superfella title. Ho, ho, ho. Sugar Gibilaru. The name but one. Well, who was the first to defend it successfully? Do you know that one? Uh, you know, I knew you were going to ask me that. Mm, I think it was Floyd Haverhill, wasn't it? I don't know, you tell me. A good guess. I was trying to think of other super feather champs, and I've, uh, <laughs> I've got Robert Dickey and John Doherty in front of me. The only other one I can think of is Michael Armstrong. Mm. Neil Haddock, another Welshman. Oh, you would know him. <laughs> Round two of this super feather contest, we're in Chester. Peter Judson in the lemon yellow trunks, Sugar Gibilaru in the black and white, Pete Garner, the referee. He's got good hand speed, Judd. In and out. Good little fighter. Yeah. Gibraltar is looking a bit marked up around the left eye, but he needs to keep going forward because Judson's not so good going backwards. Yes. Well, no doubt for me at any rate, Judson certainly sees the initiative so far. Gibilaru boxing quite neatly on a good right counter. He's boxing quite neatly, but it's uh, it's Johnson trying to make the pace and, and largely succeeding so far. stronger as Nicky Villarou inside. Well, there's... If, if you just look at the two of them, there's superb muscle definition on Nicky Villarou. Not such clear-cut definition on Judson. Not, uh, not that that matters right away, because... 
they're both still fresh. Maybe, just maybe, when the fight uh, gets in those latter stra stages, strength and stamina might tell, and that is when Gibaluru might have a slight advantage. We shall see. Still in round two. He's got a bad habit, Judson, of when he jabs from a distance, he puts his right hand back behind his ear. He's leaving his chin exposed. And you may get caught for. A little smear of blood coming from Gibilaru's nose. Johnson. Yeah, this is a very good fight. Yeah, good contest. Very, very evenly matched, these two. And when you look at Gibilaru over the other side of the ring, extraordinary to think that he's having his 55th professional contest tonight. And uh, still only 28 years of age. Yeah, this is good work from Sugar Gibilaru. Good right hand. Judson saw it coming, was moving away. And the head came in there. Yeah, he's been a pro now for 11 years. Nice sugar. And this doesn't look too bad for someone who's had 50, 50 odd professional contests. Second out, Coming out for the third then, to Villaru, the black and white, Johnson and the yellow. Steve Garner, the referee. How have you scored the first two rounds, Nicky? I give the second one even and the first one to Judson. Well, I've given both Judson. So, uh, we're, we're agreed he's ahead. Yeah. In doubt the margin. I think if Kabilaru has got, uh, is going to win this fight, he's going to need a constant stream of attack. Keep being close and keep being forced back. Keep Judson forced back, I should say. Good right hand. And it might pay off a couple of body shots from uh, Kabilaru, because Judson looks uh, a little fleshy around the middle. Oh, good left hook mm. from Kabilaru. Uh, momentarily, and Judson back on his heels. I don't know what he's been told in the corner, but he's upping the uh, pace here. That's the jab working. Puncher is Judson with a powerful puncher. He's good Billaru. Well, this is where that strength we were talking about in the previous round, this is where it might start paying dividends. Because Kibilaru's got the strength to sort of bulldoze Judson back against the ropes, catches good him right. again. Judson is, is only half the fighter when he's going back. This is definitely Kibilaru's round so far. Minute to go. Persistent trickle of blood coming from Sugar's nose. I think I'll call him Sugar. It's a bit easier than give Gibilaru, isn't it? Stick to Sugar. Yeah. Judson is still boxing uh, nicely. Yeah. Picking the punches. Gibiru has got through to him a couple mm. of times in this round. On 